section 6.3.17-T with technology. For the past 113 years, a certain state suffered 25 direct hits from major category 3 to 5 hurricanes. Assume that this was typical and the number of hits per year follows a Poisson distribution, we're going to complete parts A through D. The first part is, what is the probability that the state will not be hit by any major hurricanes in a single year? Do is, in this problem, we need to find the mean of the random variable, which is the average number of hits per year. So in order to find the mean, we're going to take the value of the direct hits, which is 25, divided by 113 years. And so therefore, when we do that, we get the following mean, 0.2212389. Now, using this as our mean, we're going to be able to use our stat crunch calculator. Now, again, what is the probability that the state will not be hit by any major hurricanes in a single year? Well, if it's not going to be hit, that means we're trying to find the probability of zero, or exactly zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to select stat, we're going to go to calculators, and then select Poisson. Okay, and so now we're going to put in the mean. So the mean is going to represent 0 0.2212389, and we want to find exactly zero. So that means we're going to change this to equal sign, and then we're going to change this to a zero, and then we're going to select compute. And then here we should see that we get the probability of 0 0.8015. So we get the probability of 0 0.0815. Let's go ahead and put that into our value here. So the probability is 0 0.0 or 0 0.8015. Okay, the next question is, what is the probability that the state will be hit by at least one major hurricane in a single year? So when we're talking about one major hurricane, that means that at least one is x is greater than or equal to 1. So over here, we still keep the same mean, and now this is going to become greater than or equal to, we're going to put the value of 1 in there, and we're going to select compute. So if we round this to four decimal places, we get 0 0.1985. And so therefore, that represents the probability of at least 1. So there is our probability of at least 1, 0.1985. Now the next question is, is this unusual? Well, remember that if the probability is less than 0 0.05, then it is considered unusual. Well, we can see that 0.1985 is greater than 0 0.05, so therefore it is not unusual. So the answer to that would be no. Next question. It says, what is the probability that the state will be hit by at least three major hurricanes in a single year, as happened last year? Okay, so if we're looking for at least three, that means that we're looking for greater than or equal to three. So let's go ahead and use our stat crunch calculator. Again, we're using the same mean. It's going to be greater than or equal to 3. Let's select compute. And then you can see here that rounding it to four decimal places gives us 0 0.0015. So putting in our answer, we get 0 0.0015 for the probability. Now the question is asking us, does this indicate that the 2004 hurricane season in this state was unusual? Well, again, as we stated above, we know that if the probability is less than 0 0.05, then it is considered unusual. Well, this probability is 0 0.0015, and therefore it is less than 0 0.05, and so therefore it is unusual. So for this question, we're going to say yes. Now for part D, it says, what is the probability that the state will be hit by at least two major hurricanes in a single year, as happened a couple years ago? So we're looking at at least two. Now remember that at least two is going to be the probability that x is greater than or equal to two. So now we're going to come in here into our calculator. We're using the same mean, and this is going to be greater than or equal to the value of two. And now we're going to select compute. And then looking at this, rounding this to four decimal places is 0 0.0211. So therefore, there is our probability.
we end up getting 0 0.0211. And the question again says, does this indicate that the 2005 hurricane season in this state was unusual? And again, as we stated above, if the probability is less than 0 0.05, then it is considered unusual. Well, we can see here that 0 0.0211 is less than 0 0.05, therefore it is unusual. So you will say for this that the answer is yes.